At first it was scary, but then things started coming back here and there in the more open states. And like financially, I was doing fine with the uh, with the unemployment, but it, it took a toll on me mentally. Where just going from being out every night, being around all my friends, funny friends, being able to go on stage, make strangers laugh. It is a drug for me. Like, I have an addictive personality. Most comics you'll meet have addictive personalities. And uh, I, I, I did some drugs. I was drinking heavily. So for me, just to... I felt like I had to get back out there just for, like, a mental cleanliness because I was going crazy at home. So I decided the brilliant idea to go full-time comedian in uh, March. And then uh, COVID came and said, no, no, no. And uh, so it's been it's been a struggle. Like I was slated to be at least on the road three weekends a month until November, and then instantly you start losing gigs, 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 and I was just like, whoa. First open mic was the Dallas Hyenas, but like where I like grew was Denton. Like when I started in Denton, the Denton comedy scene was popping. Like we had the Bearded Monk here Sundays. We had uh, Killers Tacos. We had uh, Dusty's. We had all these places where you could just go, be silly, be dumb, and, like, try to be a comedian. Virtual comedy is, like, I just, I can't. I can't get on board with that because that's what this is about is the energy. And it's like, yes, we are exposing ourselves to COVID, and then we could die. But I don't (laughs) give a fuck because I just have to. Well, it's, it's I think it's funny. It's like, imagine killed. if we survived the whole quarantine and this killed us. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's already killing me. I mean, it's killing it. I'm, but I'm the same I'm way. The virtual not. shows, the virtual shows are, uh, the whole point of comedy is it's confrontation. At least for some, I mean, what you do is a lot of confrontation. What mm-hmm. you do is a lot of confrontation. What we all yeah. do is a lot of confrontation. So the whole point of it to me is like to engage in that confrontation. That's what makes it funnier. Yeah. Hell yeah, guys. And remember, we're doing a special taping, so we want to be an amazing audience for your three headliners. The first of which is coming to the stage right now. Start clapping, start clapping for Tony Casillas. What's up, Parker? Woo! And on a Friday night. Hell yeah, man. It's going to be a good night. We got the cast of The Ranch sitting in front of us. To the Migos. This is gonna be lit. This is gonna be lit. I'm a man. I feel like I have to say that because my sexuality can be kind of ambiguous sometimes, you know? Because of my higher pitch voice, my baby bare hips, and I have the tits of an Alabama sorority girl. It's okay, sir. You can touch him for twenty dollars after the show. It's what I call gas money. 